In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Figma and how we can use it to create apps with no code using Bravo. But before that, let's roll the intro. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean and like I said before, I'm going to show you just the basics of how to use Figma. Now Figma is a design software and it's actually something that we can use to design and prototype um, apps, websites, and a whole bunch of other things. Now I'm not going to take a deep dive into everything Figma has to offer in this video, but I am going to show you some of the basic tools so that you can get started creating your very own no code app. So let's get started and let's take a look at Figma and how we can get signed up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna head over to Figma's website. So you can go over to figma.com. I'll have a link to it uh, in the description below as well. Now, you can see here uh, Figma's main website. Uh, so Figma is free to start off with. Uh, there are some features and everything that you can get through a paid account. Um, but for all the features you're going to need to create an app using Bravo, uh, you can use everything from Figma's free version. I already have an account, so I'm not going to go and create a new one. But if you haven't already created a Figma account, you can do that. Now, what we can do is we can actually use Figma online if we wanted to. Uh, but if you come up here to the features and you go to the downloads link, Figma has uh, desktop apps that you can download for either uh, Mac or for Windows. So depending on what you have, you can download the app for that. So I have a Mac, so I'm going to download that, which I already have downloaded. So I already have Figma downloaded and it's right down here. So we're going to close out of the web application and I'm going to go ahead and open up Figma. Now, once you have Figma open, you may not see projects here. These are just projects that I have that I've been that I've been working on. On the left hand side, you're going to see kind of your main menu. Um, you have a search if you want to search for plugins or public files. Uh, you have your recent projects, you have community, which you can go ahead and search other things um, that people have designed in Figma. And then you have your drafts and your plus button. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into creating a new file. So you can do it one of many ways. You can hit the plus at the very top. You can hit the plus next to draft. Uh, we're just going to hit the plus up top. That's normally how I do it. So you'll see that Figma opens up a blank file for you. Now we're going to go over really quick the top toolbar right here on the left. Now these are going to be your tools for Figma and how you can create things um, in this center area which is pretty much your canvas. Now the first one on the left where we are right now with the blue uh, selection is your move tool. If you hover over it, you'll see that it gives you the shortcut options which in this case is the B key. Now next to that is your frame. Uh, when it comes to creating apps with Bravo, uh, you will be using the frame tool quite a bit. It's a very important part. When you select frame, if you come onto the right hand side here, you'll see a bunch of different drop downs from phone to tablet to desktop. And basically what these allow you to do is create canvas sizes equal to the device that you choose over here. So in our case, if we're going to create a mobile app, I'll come to phone and for this one, I'll just tap 11 Pro. And you'll see that in the middle of our screen here, it adds a canvas or a frame the size of an 11 Pro screen. And this in here is where we can create our design for our applications and everything else. Now next to the frame app, if we go back up to our tools, this is going to be our shape apps. Now we have a bunch of different shapes from uh, rectangle, line, arrow, ellipse, a bunch of different stuff here. Now when it comes to drawing shapes for uh, Bravo, you are going to be using the rectangle tool and just the rectangle tool. Um, if you want to draw a circle, what you can do is draw a square. Uh, and when you draw a shape, you'll see the four squares at the corners, which allow you to resize your shape however you want. If you hold shift, it'll adjust it equally on all sides. 
but if we make this a little bigger, you also see that there are these dots in the, the four corners. And this will actually, if we click and drag it, will allow us to change the radius size of our corners. So if we do want a circle, uh, we can just pull this all the way in and it'll give us a circle. Uh, if you do use the ellipse shape here, it actually won't work with Bravo. So if you do want to create um, circles, uh, you do need to just create a rectangle and then make the radius um, all the way so that it makes the shape of a circle. So delete that. Right on next to it is the pen tool, um, but the pen tool allows you to just click and it will allow you to create points just like um, any type of vector drawing. So you can draw whatever shapes with whatever curves. You can even, if we complete the shape, you can come back to the points. We can adjust the points manually one at, uh, from each other and adjust it however we want. And right next to the pen tool, we're gonna have the T, which is our text tool. Um, and here we can just write um, whatever text we want to. And when we click on it, um, one thing you'll see is you can't adjust the size by just dragging the corners. This here is just the restraints that you can make for the text. So if we make a box and we start typing in text here, if I just start typing anything, you'll see that it stays within the box that we create. So dragging it won't actually create a larger text. It'll just create a larger area that the text can fill. If we do want to this text larger, we are gonna to have to come on over to the right side, which is gonna be our main design panel. This is where we can align things, we can position, uh, we can change the height, um, now if we scroll down here with text, we can change the font, we can change the font weight, size, line height, uh, tracking, um, alignment of the text. Below that we have the fill, so we can choose the color of the text. And below that we can even add effects and strokes to our text or our shapes. So this whole right section here is going to be where you can fine tune your designs here. So like I said, if I want to make this bigger, I can come to font size, instead of 12, I can hit 48. And you can see right here, our title is now a bit larger. If I wanted to change the font, I can go Proximate Nova, I can go to font weight, I can make it extra bold, and then I can position this title wherever I want. So that is going to be how you can create uh, text. Again, if we hit R for our rectangle, we can create shapes. Now, if we made a shape here with our title, you'll see that this gray block is now covering our text, and we can't see what, um, and we can't see our title because it's behind our gray block. So if we look here at the left where uh, we were earlier, this is going to be similar to like your layers in other design applications. So you can see our title is here, which is behind this gray block, and this rectangle here, which is our gray block. So over here, I can click and drag and uh, reorganize my layers so that they are in the right area. I can click on title, I can change my fill color, make that title white. Now if we come right back up to the toolbar, uh, right next to the text we have this hand tool which allows us to move our designs left to right. Uh, so if we did have another frame here, which maybe this is our second page of our design, we can select the hand tool and move um, and see our designs in different pages of our app. Now a quick shortcut, um, if you want to use the hand tool, instead of coming up here to tap on the hand or hitting H, um, because if you hit H and move, then in order to go back to the selection, you're gonna have to hit V. Uh, what you can do and what I find really helpful is you just hold down the space bar, it'll turn it into the hand tool you can move your design around and once you're done just let go of the spacebar and it'll just change back to the tool that you were using before. So it's really quick and easy to just hit the spacebar, move, let go, and you can continue designing. 
All right, so those were some of the basic tools that Figma has and really the basic tools that you're gonna need when creating an app um, to use with Bravo. Now, in my later videos, I'm gonna go over step-by-step -step, um, kind of the introduction and how you can get started with Bravo. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, but until next time, see ya.